All right, long story short, my um, friend, or now not friend, has sent me this video to enjoy. Um, I've got a feeling I'm not going to. Anyway, here's 15 weird ways to sneak candies into class slash back to school pranks. <laughs> Oh bother. A sweet pointer, a chocolate school supply cup, and a milkshake in a tie. Right, first of all, that voice has got to stop. That is, oh my god, that is infuriating. Do you not listen to yourself and think, this is ironic, do you, do you not listen to yourself and think, that's probably quite annoying to people. What? Did the entire school actually go mad? No, we have just sneaked sweets into class. Oh my god! What? Uh, I, not to brag, but I was quite a rebellious little one at school. I mean, selling cans of Coke for five pence more expensive than you bought them for. I mean, that's that's quite... I'm a thug, put it that way. Um, but this is something else. Uh, I, I, how haven't these people been locked up? Beyond me. Mr. Sebastian is wearing a weird. Right, I'm calling it now. Sebastian is getting done for sex offences in the next five years. Look at that face, man. Teachers don't look like that. Teachers are depressed. They hate their lives. Literally, the only reason they're working in schools is because it's nine to three and you get holidays off. Do you know what I mean? Like, that's the only reason I'd ever go back to school. And I didn't mind school, do you know what I mean? But, like, well, I mean, maybe if I'd been able to sneak candy in, it would have been different. Who knows? Um, but yeah, I'm calling it now. He's getting put on Operation U Tree Part 2 when it comes. When the time comes, they'll come knocking. Ty today. Is this actually a new trend in fashion? He's definitely hiding something. No. No, it's not. He's definitely hiding something. Yes. A criminal record, probably. Oh, God. Sebastian tries to distract the students with studying so that they don't suspect anything. And meanwhile, he carefully adjusts the knot on the tie. Nonce juice. Chocolate milk. Cover a plastic shirt collar bed with yellow velour. Cut off the excess. Let's be honest, the real use of this isn't for chocolate milk or even nonce juice. This is for borderline alcoholics who want to drink in public with fancy attire. 9.5 million subs. Who let this happen? Who, who edited this and thought, yeah, this is, yeah. And it, also, if I see one bit of hot glow gun come out, I swear to God, I'm just gonna straight up end it. Put a flexible tube into the hole. Pour in your drink through a funnel. What's wrong with just getting like a flask and <laughs> just like? Sorry kids, need to drink, it's a human requirement to stay re... What's the word? To have my thirst quenched. Like, oh, I just don't get it. Like, I just don't get I don't understand the internet anymore, man. And I want to blame the millennials, but I suppose technically I am one. Um, actually, no, I don't think I am. 96, am I? And when Sebastian finishes the cocktail, he takes off the tie. He doesn't need this item of clothing anymore. Confirmed. <laughs> Miss Smith doesn't like that the girls are more interested in taking photos than in studying. We'll control your class then. Problem solved. The amount of likes doesn't influence their grade. They need to do something nice for Miss Smith immediately. We have a nice pointer just for that. Cut chewy candies and connect them to make one long candy. Wrap a chopstick with it and even out the layer. Apply food glitter on top. It's not a good idea. Right, she's got a borderline sugar addiction for a start. She's probably going through a divorce, I'm sure. Uh, and uh, the husband's probably, and rightfully so, taking custody of the children. All she's going to have for the next four years is her cat and bubble baths in the evening, which will keep her company until her inevitable death at the age of 43. But now she understands that this is not a regular pointer. The girls made a sweet present for her. Candies calm Miss Smith down. 
Her mood gets better after every piece of the pointer. She turns into a kind teacher. And this means that they are free to take unlimited selfies. Uh, no, no, this is... What? Uh, no, that, that's not how school works. You can't be getting, like, going strong into classes, getting Fs every week, right? And then the teacher's mad at you for obvious reasons that you're just retarded. And then, like, oh yeah, here, have some sugar disguised as a pointer, which has got glitter on it. And then the teacher's just like, hey, you're my bro. Like, that's not how this works. These people go to school. I've actually lost hope. I mean, we're two in. I... What do you want me to say? <laughs> Everything's going to be alright. It's not. It's not going to be okay. Dolly has read too many comic books for sure. Does she think that she's Wolverine? No way! She just has new markers, and they are not regular. They come with a surprise. Cocaine! Why the hell not at this point? Pour candies out of their tubes. Cut the tube to be of the same size as a marker. Make a plug from chewy candy. These markers have a secret superpower. They turn into sweets. Jessica is keeping up too. Her exquisite school supply cup is any sweet tooth's dream. That is gonna that is not gonna last the trip to school. Like I remember like doing food tech at school, right? You'd have Tupperware with milk, eggs, sugar, and flour. I don't know, like say you're making muffins or whatever. That wouldn't even last till you got to school. Like you something would happen on the way to school. I don't know what, but you'd have milk all over your books, you'd have eggs whisked in your bag, you'd have the flour, that'd be everywhere. Just, and, and I'm expected to get to school with a frozen bit of chocolate. That's not going to last the journey. Dolly also bites off a piece of the cup. Well, it's unlikely that it will last till the end of the school day. She's gotten hungry and can't be satisfied by clay food. But Jessica has a lot of fun with her clay. She made a red pepper and she bravely bites it off. What is her secret? She is insane. The girls turn to different tricks to make their class more fun. They have brought a sweet cash to the school today. It's a jewelry box, but there are some precious sweets inside instead of jewelry. Uh, I have honestly lost so much hope in the course of this. I've been watching it for five minutes. We're not even halfway through yet. I've lost absolute, just, I've lost hope in humanity, I think. I'm, I like to think I'm a pretty optimistic fellow, but this has, this has certainly tested me. Cut out the pages of a notebook. Cover the cuts with paper strips. Nah, the hot glue gun's coming out. That's it. I'm ending this right now. <laughs> but we, we, we got bored at school, right? We weren't exactly... We, it was a pretty good school, to be fair. It was standard comprehensive, like, suburban school. Do you know what I mean? Like, it wasn't it wasn't a, a private school. It wasn't Catholic school or anything like that. It was just a standard school. We got bored. Like, the teacher would literally leave the room for two minutes. We threw test tubes at each other. Like, this isn't fun. Eating food is not fun. We, we'd throw test tubes at each other. We'd just switch on the Bunsen burner gas taps and see who would notice. What else did we do? Oh yeah, we burnt my book one week. That was pretty fun for everyone else. Um, that was called like bullying, actually. Um, yeah, bully circles. Although I only ever seem to remember them from the inside, actually. You get the point. Jessica needs a triangle ruler. She is using everything that could possibly have angles, but the drawing is still not perfect. Jessica should have prepared for school a bit better and done her stationary shopping in the summer. I don't even think I want to watch the rest of this. I sort of do, because I want to see how furious it can make me, but uh, I hope someone gets fired for this. Sebastian's gotten hungry. For the, the cries and screams of his victims. Ah, uh, Sebastian. We are going to have some words after this. Jessica's paper plane is very flimsy. It was damaged during an attack in world history class. First of all, that's not going to help the paper plane, because the white will then bring the back of it down. The thing's just not going to fly. You're going to look even more foolish than you already do. And um, believe me, you do. See, they've obviously not researched their paper plane making skills. Obviously, because if you get the aerodynamics of the wings right, right the, the, crash, the uh, wind very, resistance very will make it lift uh, slightly uh, higher uh, uh, um, um, and fall down. Obviously creating a sort of flying motion. Like a bird flapping its wings in the of the plane. You just go. I hate myself at this point. And I want to die. 
you can paint not only a landscape with these paints, but also your tongue. Now that's what we call body art. A colorful mood is guaranteed. Oh, I don't know. Nah, I'm done. I'm done. I can't be doing it with this. Done. <laughs> We're done. melt by the time you get to school you're gonna rock up on the bus and like your bag's just gonna be like it's gonna look like you've snuck a chod into your bag yeah.